This is Professor Pelton. This is Math 202, Chapter 5, Section 1. This is Part 2 of the video. So mean, variance, standard deviation will be uh, calculated differently in this chapter because not each individual value has a different probability. They're not equal uh, probability like the ones in the prior chapters. We use these formulas that are given. So we'll use the problems in the prior section of the video, the prior video, I should say, to calculate... Um, these things. Okay. So first we'll do the number of heads example. So the probability of getting zero heads is one eighth. The probability of getting one or two heads was three eighths. And getting three heads was one eighth. So that was the problem where we flipped the coin three times. So that adds up to eight eighths. So that means we are good to go. If we didn't have to eight eighths, the whole thing doesn't work. So x times p of x is going to be 0 times 1 eighth for 0 eighths. And then we have 1 times 3 eighths for 3 eighths. And then we have 2 times 3 eighths for 6 eighths. And lastly, 3 times 1 eighth for 3 eighths for a total of 12 eighths, which is 3 halves. Okay, all right, so now we'll do x minus mu. So x in this case is 0, 1, 2, and 3. So minus, 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 squared, 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 and squared. So mu, that is mean, isn't it, right? That's mean, okay, for a population, since these are... Uh, a little bit different here, which is this answer right here. That is actually mu, which is the population mean. Okay, so keep in mind you have this and this that both mean mean. This one is for sample, this one is for population. So in prior chapters, we only had samples. Here we have the entire population of all possible outcomes. Okay, and likewise, this was used for standard deviation. Now this is used, that is sample. That is population standard deviation because we have all the possible values. Okay, so we'll put this in three halves, three halves, three halves, and three halves. And the probabilities come right here, come from right here, which are one eighth, one eighth, sorry, three eighths, three eighths, and one eighth. Okay, so if we do some math here. This is really, um, if you think about it, 0 halves minus 3 halves squared times 1 eighth. So that's 3 halves squared. So if you square a negative, it just becomes positive. The outcome is always positive. So that's 9 fourths times 1 eighth for 9 30 seconds. All right, so the next one, 1 is really two halves minus three halves squared times three eighths. Okay, so two halves minus three halves, if I can actually get it in there, is one half. If I square one half, the negative doesn't matter because square negative is positive. That really gives me one fourth times three eighths equals three thirty seconds. So the next one, two, is really four halves and three halves squared times three eighths. So four halves minus three halves is one half. If I square that, I get one fourth. So it's one fourth times three eighths again for three thirty seconds. And the last one, three, is really six halves minus three halves squared times one eighth. Six halves minus three halves is three halves. If you square three halves, you get nine fourths. So if I times that by the three eighths, I get nine thirty seconds, right? Make sure you follow the order of operations, parentheses, exponents, then multiply. All right, so if I add up all of those 30 seconds, I get 24 30 seconds, which simplified is three fourths, okay? This is the variance, OK? 
Okay, let's take that down to below. So the rundown of the answers, which is how you should answer things for the assessments and assignments. So the first calculation we got was mu, which was three halves, that's the mean. The standard deviation was three fourths. I'm sorry, the variance is three fourths. So to get the standard deviation, I need to square root that. So I get the square root of three over the square root of two. I'm sorry, which is two, square root of four is two, pardon me. So that gives me approximately 0 0.866, okay? So the expected value here is 1.5 heads, because by definition, if you look up above, the average, the mean, which is 3 halves, which is 1.5, gives us, you need to label the answer, basically. So what you should expect is, uh, you should expect 1.5 heads, and it should deviate by 0.866, plus or minus that. So add 0.86 to 1.5 and subtract 0.866 from 1.5. And that'll give you the range of values of what we should expect to happen. Okay, pause the video, try the student problem for yourself. Okay, so the student problem on the next page comes from the sum of the three dice problem. So we'll take a second here to zoom out a little bit. So the sum, the, the way you got two and eight, those were both one sixteenth, okay? And this was two sixteenths, two sixteenths, three sixteenths, three sixteenths, and the one that was easiest to get was a five, which is four sixteenths, okay? So if I multiply each of these together, I get two sixteenths, six sixteenths, 12 sixteenths, 20 sixteenths, 18 sixteenths, 14 sixteenths, and 8 sixteenths. So I know this works because it adds up to 16 sixteenths. If I add up the multiplications of the, of the x times p of x, I'm going to get 80 over 16, which is 5. That is my mean. Okay, so if I go to here, I have 2 minus, 3 minus, 4 minus, 5 minus, 6 minus, 7 minus, and 8 minus. And it says the mean, which in this case is 5. So 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, square all the way up. Times, 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 times. And the probabilities, which we have from over here, right? Probabilities, we have 1 16th, 2 16ths, 3 16ths, 4 16ths, 5 six. Oh, that's not 5, it's 3 16ths, I apologize. 3 16ths, 2 16ths, and 1 16th. Okay, so two minus five is negative three. Again, the squaring gets rid of all negatives. So three squared is nine, so it's nine times one sixteenth or nine sixteenths. Three minus five is two. Square two, you get four. So it's four times two sixteenths or eight sixteenths. Four minus five is one. If you square negative one, you get one times three sixteenths is three sixteenths. 5 minus 5 is 0. 0 squared is 0. 0 times 4 sixteenths is 0 sixteenths. 6 minus 5 is 1. Square 1, you get 1 times 3 sixteenths is 3 sixteenths. 7 minus 5 is 2. Square 2, you get 4. So it's 4 times 2 sixteenths for 8 sixteenths. And lastly, minus 5 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So it's 9 times 1 sixteenth or 9 sixteenths. And if I add those all together, I get 40 sixteenths, which is 5 halves. And the biggest thing in probability is don't simplify fractions, okay? Not until you get to the final answer. Otherwise, it makes life very difficult. Keep common denominators, okay? And of course, that is our variance. We'll take that down and answer the questions.
So on average, we should expect to get a five. It's uh, the variance is five halves. So the standard deviation is the square root of five halves, which is approximately 1.58. Okay, so the expected value is five for the sum of the dice. Okay, so we should expect the uh, outcome to be five, and it should vary by 1.58 plus or minus that. So if we say 1.6, if we add 1.6 to that, that's 6.6. And if you subtract 1.6, that's 3.4. So that would be the range of expected outcomes. And this is the end of part two.